Hey everyone, how you doing today? Thought I would uh, show you this uh, pretty much completed uh, Wayfarer ST2 now. It, uh, I've been working on it quite a bit the last couple of days. I didn't do any videos or anything on it. I just wanted to get it done basically and uh, not go over every little uh, thing. But uh, yeah, uh, the only thing it's lacking right now is a info LCD in the hangar. So I'll have to uh, get that on before I release it. I have another version that has... Uh, a little bit more equipped than the uh, the this this version here, sitting over there with the uh, the mining rig. I was testing that and the uh, generator performance and all that stuff. But uh, anyway, let me fly around the ship a little bit. I'll show you what it looks like on the uh, the outside and the uh, inside, and then talk about the uh, specifications of it and where it's at. Now, in comments, it was brought up that um, it starter CVs probably shouldn't be using estrium or zacosium. And, you know, for the most part, I do agree with that. This one's kind of a, a weird scenario, and I do have, a, so it's not using those resources, but I have to get rid of the shield out of it to pull that off. The shield uses the, those resources, and uh, that kind of uh, puts it at a little bit of a thing, I guess, but it's, it's, it's not too bad. But anyway, yeah, definitely pretty happy with the, uh, the ship right now. Um, Kind of see what it looks like from the outside. All the sensors are in place and stuff now too. So the doors are working and the hangar doors and the lighty things and and all that fun stuff here. Anyway, let, let me uh let go inside. I'm going to adjust the uh, the lighting here a second and uh, you can see kind of what's uh, how this is working out here. So on the interior on stock equipment. Now this is the uh, stripped down version. So it does not have the shield. It does not have an armor repair either. Um, in this version now in the other version I do have these things placed so a little bit at an angle here uh, it's parked but I uh, kind of see what the uh, the hangers looking like I do have a, a Wi-Fi kind of installed in the middle it does have uh, locations to add uh, several more generators actually there's two generators in here to start with but it has uh, a second slot right behind that on either side of the hangar plus these window areas uh, I didn't label them for any particular reason but you could uh, certainly add a couple more generators in this area as well, or like a generator on one side or a couple even small shield parts if you wanted to. So a little bit of extra room out on the sides there. It's just, again, kind of up to the player, not really labeled. So I have two advanced constructor stock. It does have uh, four 200K storage bays and then an uh, ammo box. I uh, set up the... Uh, warp drive so you can have easy access to it because this does come with a 30 30 light year warp drive you can uh upgrade it right through the uh the little window here from the hangar i thought that was kind of fun um and this part here i'll show you on the completed version the armor uh repair goes kind of sideways over this and looks like it's kind of all part of the same piece um unfortunately i, I removed that and then you can kind of see the uh the gravity generator behind there um but that's yeah that's about it that's going on in the hangar let me uh let's go down this hallway here so over here we got the uh the full medical bay uh so it's got all the, the specialized pieces plus your uh, o2 and the medical station on the other side here you have your toilet and shower as well then there's a little side room off from here and this gets into where the uh, the basic cpu core is the uh access to the gravity generator a uh, place to put a couple improved cores and then uh, your uh, shield room, as well as I got to put a label there uh, yet, and that's where the uh, pentaxa tank is supposed to go. Also has a, a detector in there, so all those places you can get to and put those parts in place as well. Uh, let's go up the uh, the elevator here up to the uh, the bridge and the farm. So uh, bridge uh, looks like this. I decided to put the core right under the pilot seat. Um, I've seen this done on some other creations, and the idea of that is if you're going to get killed, like you're flying this around, or you don't have a shield, or your shield's down, and you get popped, it'll hopefully blow the core and then uh, leave the rest of the ship alone. So it'll be uh, maybe, you know, you can put another core back in it and get it uh, going, and the, uh, the AI will not try to blast the rest of the ship to pieces, which... Uh, would probably uh, happen pretty quick because it's made of carpet substrate. So uh, it, uh, I thought that was a good idea in this case, uh, just putting the core there. And you got some uh, uh, passenger seats. You do have a place to add a teleporter. There's a sensor set up for that already over there. And then inside of here, you've got three different doors. The center one goes up to the, uh, the uh, landing pad up on the top. 
and then the other two doors both go to the farm and this is what the farm's looking like uh, so you do have your uh, 54 grow plots in there looks like I'm no I'm not missing the decal I thought I was missing the decal there I was all freaking out um, yeah and uh, you got your little grow light switches here there's basically one per row everything kind of uh, lined up uh, nicely over there on this side of the farm uh, you have uh, your food processor a couple fridges and uh, yeah that's pretty much it on the farm a couple uh, oxygen tanks on display in there too and then there's that angled door that comes right back into the bridge so that is pretty much the whole ship so spec wise uh, let's see let's start here so unlock level 12 uh, you got 41 forward 21 strafing 82 lift 41 reverse 17 down now the 82 lift it's got eight uh, medium thrusters uh, basically one per 200k storage bay I guess you can say um, no I'm sorry <laughs> two per never mind I'll just shut up about that it's got a, it only has four uh, uh, <laughs> uh, things but anyway that's all right uh, it's it's got a lot of lift um, and that's good it's got 800k of storage in it basically so I think that will uh, be useful um, four hour and 34 minute build time with the parts stripped out of it, it requires no Estrium or Zacosium, but keep in mind it also has no shield or armor repair um, like this. It does have the four minigun turrets. It does have a detector as well. Five fuel tanks, five oxygen tanks. Uh, CPU-wise, it comes out at 356. Now, this does allow you to put in that Pentaxa tank, the armor repair, and a shield and stay and not need any additional CPU blocks. It'll be under 400,000 by putting those three parts in the ship. A little bit left over. Uh, not a lot, but a little bit left over on that. And uh, let's see what else can... Oh yeah, also can do a repair bay. Now I set up a slot. If you remove this block here where the, uh, where the R is, that is a, uh, a potential place where you can put the uh, repair bay if you want it on the top. Um, if you want it in the hangar, I didn't really work out a location for that, but I don't know. I, I think it would be more practical, generally speaking, up here. Unless, of course, you're trying to repair HV. Uh, it could be a little challenging to get an HV on top of here. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I've seen some uh, pretty crazy uh, feats with HVs and climbing things with them. Um, and you might be able to kind of, like, bank right up the thrusters and kind of pull up on, on top of there. Um, so, yeah, but other than that, that is pretty much the ship. And, uh, oh yeah, I forgot to look at the total uh, build time on it. Four hours and 34 minutes with these uh, parts out. So, yeah, pretty much fits right into the uh, the starter CV category, right up there with the Wayfarer. And uh, what this is kind of uh, like a new version of. Um, and this one, you can see it's uh, quite similar with a lot of this stuff. Now, this new ship obviously is built of carbon instead of steel like the Wayfarer is. Uh, this one also has the unlock level of 12. I guess this one does have one additional fuel tank and oxygen tank in it. Um, around the same build time and around the same resources. Um, but this new ship, you know, rather than a single 320K and 36 grow plots, this one has 54 grow plots and 800K of storage. Uh, plus it can uh, uh, do the drilling. So on, the, on this other version, I've got chilling out over here. Oh, and also we can, uh, here, let me get the lights on. You can look at the bottom side a little bit easier this time here um so yeah the bottom's done up too it's got uh some little bit of red in there and you know your general uh, sci-fi trying to look in uh block mix-ups and things to give it a little definition on the bottom now uh other upgrades that okay so this one has the drill package installed so you got the six drills it does have the shield in place it does have the armor repair in place um i'll show you how that the armor repair if it's uh, placed in there, it should look uh, just like this, which I kind of like this idea, actually. Uh, you're using, like, one block space this way, at least, and you got, like, both things right next to each other there. So I kind of like that that idea. Um, on this one, I think I added two improved cores on it. Yeah, it's got two improved cores. It has a regular shield, the Pentaxa tank, the armor repair. It doesn't need, I don't think, both of those... Uh, improved cores in here because they uh it, that brings a cpu up to 850,000. the way it's set up it's only used at 532,000, but that allows for several other upgrades as well including um adding uh some more uh constructors or deconstructors 
uh, a teleporter, additional thrusters. That's something I didn't talk about here. Um, I did remove uh, some strafing thrusters off from here, but you have these other thruster locations down here where you can add those uh, angled medium thrusters. So you can add two more strafing thrusters per side. On forward thrust, you can uh, add another four forward thrusters of just the medium type, or you can get rid of all of these and put in two large forward thrusters in the same location. So depends how you want to set that up, uh, but it's got the CPU for it. As in uh, generators, I did add two additional generators on this build, and I did test this in space uh, in this current configuration with four generators, and it had no power problems. And that was charging the shield, flying around, while operating the drills at the same time. It only got up to about 55% power usage. So I'm thinking even if you had your uh, a bunch of constructors processing uh, goods while you're doing that, it would be cool. Now, if it's not and you need more power, these little window seals up here, again, I, I kind of brought that up. That'd be a great place to add an additional generator um, or something else. I mean, maybe, maybe you want more fuel, oxygen, small shield parts, or one by three generator, but anything can kind of fit up there just kind of universal space to put something um, in the ship. But other than that, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. The only thing I really have left to do on it right now is to add in like an info LCD to tell you what the symbols mean. I've been doing that on a lot of the other recent builds as well. Um, I don't think I forgot anything. I, I, I don't think I forgot anything. I think it covers like every feature I could want on a starter CV. Um, I, again, it's never going to be for combat. This is just not a combat-oriented ship whatsoever. Um, it doesn't have many turret resistance at all. It has the four uh, minigun turrets on here, basically for drone protection, flying around in space and stuff like that. But uh, that is really about it. Um, and as in one last thing, um, long-range radar, that's kind of a... This is a sticky point because I have not found any legit location to put it. It's... It's two blocks tall. It's it's three by three by two. It's uh, I don't have room inside the ship to put it. Really, I don't have room on the outside of the ship to put it. It really doesn't fit in any particular location. Now, of course, you could dump it somewhere on the top. There is quite a lot of room up here. I'll probably want one in game once I get this to a uh, a minor level like it is here. Um, especially, it's just nice. It's a nice convenience having that long range radar. It's just Yes, so little space for things like that. Uh, I just figured when I do eventually get it, I'll probably just slap it over in the corner somewhere. I know this almost looks like that could be radar, and it's supposed to stand for the repair bay. Um, I was going to put in like a, uh, a little uh, grate block in there like I normally do. If you can see below here, it's a weird setup here. It's sealed off on the bottom side to the farm and also also to the hangar there. It's it's a weird trippy little setup, but this block here actually gets removed. Um, so it's still kind of like, even when that block is out of the way and the repair bay is in place, um, it's still it's still like, uh, I think it's, yeah, it's airtight on both sides. So um, it wouldn't cause any problems any way you look at it. Oh, no. Oh, I forgot some textures right here. I, yeah, that's right. I, I had to rip out a block because I couldn't find any legit place to put a, uh, a sensor for the hangar door. Like, nowhere. Nowhere. You can't... You, uh, because uh, these sensors don't have six degrees of direction when you set their radius, you got to, like, in a, in a place of, like, opening up the hangar door, right, where you have the uh, your radius for it coming in one space, or I'll show you what that looks like uh, with the interactive setup here. I usually like to do it this way, so you got this one thing, so the hangar door will, will open up if you get to the last block of the hangar, and then, of course, open up quite a long ways there. Usually uh, down below where the ramps go to as well is, uh, is where I like to set them, and then the uh, maximum distance back that it can do. But yeah, I had a the only way I can uh, set up that box in the right dimensions is right directly above the hangar door. Um, and then I forgot to texture this stuff, so I have to fix that. But I just want to show you kind of how the mechanism there is uh, at least working. Um, and yeah, that is about it on this thing. Uh, so my plan is to. I don't exactly know when I want to release it yet. I kind of wanted to try it out in game a little bit first, but I have a feeling I'll probably get this released probably this Sunday uh, to the to the workshop. Uh, I know I, I could release it sooner than that, um, but I just released something, and I just get a little break. It's, it's still more work uh, taking pictures and releasing stuff to the workshop and, and stuff, and uh, 
I just I kind of wanted to check it out in game a little bit too. So uh, questions for you guys. Um, how do you feel about this shield thing um, versus uh, the Estrium and Zacosium? Again, with this model here, with uh, its current load up, uh, stat wise, uh, you're going to see it using. Well, okay, it's got the drills on there. They they obviously use that too. If it did not have the drills installed and it just had the shield and the repair bay, it's a 100 Zacosium on both of these. Um, and that's how I originally had it configured. I know I was pretty adamant that I wanted this to come stock with a shield, but that's literally like about right around uh, 75 to 80 of Zacosium in the uh, restrium for, for shield um, in here. And that, that kind of uh, presents a bit of a problem if uh, you're trying to have a starter CV. And I understand you don't want those kind of resources involved in the starter CV. But on the flip side, it just won't have a shield. But uh, one other way to look at it, too, is you don't have to. It's got room for it, but you don't necessarily have to put in a full-size shield. You could use the Reforged Eden uh, smaller shield in here, which is also cheaper than what this one would be. So uh, that is another option as well. So uh, I think, I guess I'll... I'll have to release it without the shield, and that, um, and the other piece that uses the Estrium is that Cosium is the armor repair. I'm not sure why that uses it. Uh, it'd be, uh, and that's the only other tricky thing too is how do I explain how to how this should be placed in here? I can't even label it. It it really sucks, and then it leaves that door, that opening up to where you see the gravity generator that you're not supposed to because it's supposed to look like that, and. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, it's one of those things. I don't necessarily like leaving some of these parts out, but it would certainly make a lot of sense. Uh, it, it just allow you to get the ship in easier in the game. Except in this, you know, in the stage without the shield, it's really vulnerable. You know, be on pins and needles until it had a shield in it. Um, just due to knowing that even even if some drones came up and you had ammo in your ammo bay and your your guns were firing at it, you you're, you're probably going to shoot down your regular, you know. Uh, type of drones but they might get some hits on you too i mean they might hit some of these really wimpy blocks um with you know 100 some hit points or less uh, uh i guess up to about 150 i think on a full uh a full uh carbon block um but a lot of them are less than that so not a lot of hit points um comparatively comparatively speaking the uh the original Wayfarer, the blocks have a lot more hit points to them. But again, the uh, spec-wise, you know, and its speeds and motions and, and Reforged Eden at least, and uh, its carrying capacity and weight and everything, it's not even on par with the, the newer one. So there's, there's trade-offs. This one's a little tougher. Um, still not really tough enough to deal with anything significant, but uh, it's a little tougher. This one is definitely not as tough, but has a lot more... Just a lot more of that stuff, you know, with the, the weight carrying and capabilities and stuff like that. So, again, trade-offs. But uh, anyway, I just wanted to show you this. And um, I'm already thinking about my next project. Now that this is done, um, I think uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to go uh, and maybe even tomorrow start a build video on it. And it's something I wanted to do for a while but kept on putting it off. And that is to build a uh, space station for the SCAR. Um, it's, I got an idea for it. It's going to be unique to any of the other space stations that I've uh, done in the past. And, uh, I'm kind of thinking more of a, uh, a platform style station. If you kind of think of it as kind of a makeshift space oil rig or something like that. Um, so that, that's kind of the idea I'm going to try to pursue with the, the next build. Um, and I've been kind of thinking on, my method of uh, building it and how I kind of want it to look in the end. We'll see how it actually comes out, though. But I'll, I'll, I'll probably start doing that tomorrow. Anyway, I just kind of wanted to go over this one and get any feedback. Uh, how do you feel about the, uh, the the release specifications? Should it have those other parts in it? Um, uh, stuff like that. I mean, it's uh, am, I, it, it, am I missing anything um, besides a couple missing textures and info LCD? I, I know about those, but uh, uh, is there anything that you can think of that I'm missing out of here? It does have Wi-Fi. It does have, you know, place for the Pentax tank this time. Those are like the number two things, uh, the, the two things I, I'll tend to forget. Um, 
in some of these builds uh when i'm building it it's like oh i always forget about those same things um but uh this time i i, I didn't i actually thought about it so happy about that and um yeah i got rid of some of, i had used to have some thingies up here i'm not super happy on how this looks um and the reason why i'm using this model thruster here is because this gun sits right on it and i needed the, the full surface on top here otherwise i was going to use those uh the thrusters where you see more of the thruster housing and not the uh the block on the the second part of it um but uh you know if this thing is 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 upgraded i mean you could get a lot of uh forward thrust on here too especially with the two large thrusters or even doubling up these here figure whatever stat you're looking at right now 41 you could double that by adding four more medium thrusters there and by the time you put in an, imp uh, an improved core or two you get a lot of cpu for that and you could pretty much deck out everything on the ship uh, especially with two improved cores that's uh upgrading the warp drive putting in a bigger shield uh adding in even more generators uh teleporter armor repair a couple more constructors um more strafing thrusters uh, all kinds of stuff so i don't really think it would ever have ever need to go past two improved cores uh for its cpu that's eight hundred fifty thousand. it's not really set up to hold anything beyond that you know it's just so i didn't uh bother putting into place for advanced cpu cores on here because it's, again it's a starter you know it's um not gonna really if it was a combat ship or something that would be a different story but even as a starter no problem with the mining drills no problem with anything that's going on here um and anyway i will shut up i just kind of wanted to show you this and uh again probably this sunday i think is going to be my target date on when i get this out to the workshop uh but of course i'll uh, i'll definitely read any comments and uh, maybe someone uh jog my memory on something that i'm forgetting or uh have an opinion on how it should be configured stock at least uh with the with the shield and stuff um i can i guess i kind of don't want it to require any astrium or zacosium either it's just the whole shield thing just drives me nuts because i i really really wanted this to have a shield and you, you can't have both you can't have no uses of astrium and zacosium and a shield at the same time unless hold on and last last thing i just want to check the reforged eden specific shield let me see if i can find that this way i'm just curious this doesn't use much cpu that's for sure um let me try to trash something here i just wanted to see i'm always out of room uh let's see here's this is the stock one let me okay so stock obviously uh let's put this on somewhere right now obviously it could fit down below but just wanted to see what that does for the estrium and zacosium needs oh oh well it doesn't use any see i still want to put this on there i i do i really want to put this shield on this craft uh stock because it doesn't use the resources i'm worried about however that would make it reforged it only that's another problem so i guess i'll just leave it off but rest assured um i'll put something even on the info lcd about um trying to add one of these shields immediately to the ship um uh so i would put this on here stock no problem at all uh because it doesn't use the uh the resources i i was concerned about um but yeah if i do put it on stock then it can't be uh, compatible with uh, vanilla um that is one thing you know i have not looked at too is what are the specs in vanilla oh man well if you're curious i'll tell you what uh, if you're yeah, i already showed the ship so you don't have to uh stick around whatever check this out if you don't care but i'm gonna just uh i'm gonna try to go into a uh vanilla game here a second and spawn this ship in and see and see what it looks like uh cpu wise i have a feeling it's not going to work super wonderful reason being is the um the amount of storage and the way vanilla charges for uh storage so hey look at that ship Ooh, i wonder who made that hmm. <laughs> okay uh let me spawn this in here and way ferris t2 stock one 
Okay, so what do you look like? You're going to blow the CPU, aren't you? You're going to blow the CPU. I know you're going to blow the CPU. Yeah, you're going to totally blow the CPU. Gosh darn it. By 50, uh, 56,000. Ah! It's all because of the storage. It's all because of the storage. <sighs> this is what makes it uh, an extremely difficult um, on a lot of creations, even in this case on a starter creation, which is one of the easier ones to uh, make compatible between Reforged Eden and, and Vanilla. Still, because, because of the storage this time, it's not going to be super happy with that. Um, ah, I don't know. It's it's just a no-win situation, you know. You you're, you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. Uh, there's just there's too many differences between the two uh, variations of the game to work very well together at this point. Um, and ha yeah, it has to do with the storage. I'm certainly not going to wipe storage out of here. So with vanilla, obviously this would work, but it would need the uh, it would need to be a next tier class up. It would, uh, the, the basic CPU core would have to go away. Uh, let me, uh, fix that up again. Let's, uh, let's grab a couple improves and get rid of the basic. Uh, obviously, it can be configured easily enough to do this, but, um, that just sucks. You know, it just sucks. Uh, just don't know what to do about these kinds of situations. Um. I mean, I agree with the Reforged Eden uh, prices on storage. Uh, I don't agree with the vanilla prices on storage. I think they charge way too much for it. But, uh, yeah, with that in place, and then it can, you know, it's within CPU bounds. But look at that. I'm, like, practically a million CPU uh, more than I need now. Um, that just sucks. So maybe, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to do about this. It's going to screw it for uh, vanilla again. Um, I guess, uh, I don't know. I don't know what to do about stuff like that. I don't know if uh, vanilla should reevaluate their storage or, uh, you know, the other way around. I guess I'm, I'm building this for a uh, essentially a modded version of the game and not the uh, regular version of the game. But, um, yeah, that's the way it goes, I guess. No... Uh, Vanilla players would have to uh, either run it as it is with the, the basic improved core and be over CPU by 56,000, which is probably enough to cause generator damage, or put in or remove that basic CPU core and put in two improved cores, which is going to ramp the cost up, probably require Estrium and Zacosium, or does that. Yeah, that, that, that reintroduces that, those, those stats to it. It's just a no-win situation. But look at the speeds on this thing in vanilla. Holy crap. Um, it, it moves. It moves really good in vanilla. I think uh, this would um, deal with any gravity s situation um, in vanilla, at least. Yeah, it does fly like a spring chicken, that's for sure. Uh, <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's almost uh, a little too um, aggressive in its flight speeds here but uh yeah it's another one of those differences there it's certainly not going to have any power problems you know in vanilla too i'm not even so sure this would need that other generator in place on reese forge it does but in vanilla say one of these was out of here what, what does that do for the cpu like god did it do anything uh, what are these th uh, generators in vanilla? 3,000 CPU? All right. Well, that didn't really do anything. Um, what else could be cut out of here in vanilla to make it CPU compliant better? Um, how about a couple extra thrusters here? Can that do it? Not really. Uh, one of these. That'll, yeah, oh yeah, let me guess. Vanilla charges a ton for constructors, I bet. I bet you that's the deal. Um, yeah, what did I, jeez, what is a vanilla constructor run? I'm just curious now. Sorry about the uh, the long video here. I'm just, uh, my mind's going off trying to think about these things here. 
and why it's so yeah 40,000 CPU for advanced constructor and then the storage is more too see I don't get that you know this is the kind of game where you acquire a lot of resources and a lot of things and storage and vanilla is like premium cpu expenditures and uh, as well as like trying to build parts to for your voxel game i just don't i don't see eye to eye with why why charge so much for the things to build stuff in the game with that you want to encourage in a voxel building game i mean and it's like discouraging to want to really build anything in game for a number of reasons um, but this is just another one added in there for super high cost for, you know, your constructors and things and, uh, and places to put stuff. Um, I don't, I don't get it. I don't, again, I, I, I really think, uh, it was thought out, uh, way better in Reforged Eden on its, uh, storage prices for CPU and constructors, things like that. You can get more of them in with less problems. Um, which makes a lot of sense because, you know, if you got to build stuff, like even building like uh, advanced CPU cores or something, um, there's all these like parts you got to build for that and it takes a long time. So you want more than one constructor working on it so you can get it done in a lot less time, but the game will screw you uh, for that, for trying to be quicker about it uh, by having more constructors and more places to put things. Um, more storage capacity so yeah i don't know that's just one of those things i'm hoping that gets looked at a little bit in vanilla too i really really think it's a little off there that's just my opinion though so i mean obviously you can uh, look at it different ways and yeah, i'll definitely have to probably paint underneath these thrusters over there too but so I, i'll probably have to release this just for reforge eden in the end again um because i i just can't make it work with both both versions of the game um stock i mean obviously Almost no modification. Well, very little modifications would make this work in um, vanilla. Uh, but yeah, the storage is going to push it well beyond the limits of stuff and require 1.5 million CPU now for a starter ship, which is barely using any of that extra uh, stuff. But I, I, there's just really nothing else you can remove from the ship, or it just doesn't work. Um, so well, anyway, I will shut up. And uh, I'll try to get this out this weekend. Tomorrow I'll probably uh, start uh, working on a SCAR space station build video. So y'all have yourself a great day and I'll talk to you later.